Hello everyone, my name is Gemma and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do enjoy this video, do give it a big thumbs up to let me know. So for those of you that don't know me, I am a holiday park entertainer and have been for the last three years. I'm about to go into my fourth season with Haven as a presenter actor. And I thought I would do a little Q&A for my first video about holiday park entertainment jobs and what they involve, what you do. I feel like it's something that doesn't really get spoken about a lot and I thought I would put it all out there. So I did a little Q&A on Instagram to see what the most commonly asked questions were and what people wish they'd known before they started working in holiday park entertainment. So hopefully I'll answer some of those questions for you now. So I really hope you enjoy it and I really hope you'll stay for more, hopefully. So let's get into it. So I thought I would start off where it all begins. Applying and auditioning. How do you apply? What do auditions involve? And how in general do you get into the holiday park entertainment world, let's say? Best thing to do first of all is to look at the job section of the website of the company you are looking to apply for. If you go to the careers section you'll see what jobs they have going and normally there you can apply it there for the entertainer position. But then once you're in the company, normally you can just apply direct through them again. When it comes to the companies you apply for, always, always check that they are a genuine company. Check that they have a company number, check that they are registered with Companies House. If they do not, then it's more than likely that they are not a genuine company. Now what comes next? Hopefully, if you're successful with the initial application, the audition. The audition, the dreaded word that every performer either dreads or loves. Most Holy Park auditions will genuinely be very fun because it's more often than not a fun job and they want to emulate that same environment. Yes, they'll still be looking at you to see what you are like as a performer, what you're like as a person, all that good stuff. So I can only speak for Haven because it's the only company in the UK that I've done an entertainment job with. So we started off with a warm up and this was a party dance workshop. So they had two of the casting assistants in front of us doing the dance and we just followed them. It was fairly easy, they didn't need to teach it to us first. It was a bit like doing party dances when you go on holiday to a holiday park. We did it once and then we just did it again, just so we were nice and warm. That was the beginning bit. And then we did some icebreaker activities. The classic thing when you walk around the room and then you just had to stop and if you stopped everyone else would stop you said your name how old you were where you're from and the classic fun fact about you and that's just a way for them to get to know you better and for them to see your personality 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 is the big word that is what they want to see they want to hire people that have got bags of personality bubbly enthusiastic people who love their job who want to be there who want to entertain people if you turn up and look like you don't want to be there you're more than likely not going to get very far so have fun with it if you end up looking silly who cares that's the point we get paid to look silly it's all good so make sure that you just give your all in that part of the audition as I say disclaimer I can only speak for Haven that's how their audition process was other companies might be different it then split off into individual groups depending on what role you were applying for. At the time I was applying for vocalist so we had to prepare it was either 16 or 32 bars of a pop rock song to perform in front of the panel and then we had a dance call where we were just taught a short section of a dance from one of their shows and we do the classic perform it in lines. At the time I didn't apply for presenter but the presenters were given some random props and they had to come up with a game show involving these props of course being as fun as they could, be as imaginative as they could and just have fun with it really and that's how, how the audition was and then that was the end of it. There was no one-to-one -one interview. If they had any questions for you they'd ask you when you did your song if you were auditioning for a vocalist part and that was that audition so in general, I would say just have fun with it, show your personality, be yourself, and that's the best thing you can do, really. Once you're in the company, the audition process is slightly different because you're not necessarily auditioning to get into the company. You're auditioning to get your job back, really. If you're applying for a different position, then you'll go for the separate workshops for that role. But once you're in the company, you're in it. It's not a case of auditioning to get your job back. It's a case of them seeing if you might be more suitable for a 
new role or if you're still best suited to the role you're in now before you move up to the next one and that's it really and that would normally be held at one of the bigger parks your first initial audition to get into the company would be held at an audition studio or dial studio either in london birmingham whatever's your nearest city basically and that is auditioning and applying so now we are going to talk about duties what the job involves now of course this does largely depend on what role you have with haven in particular there's different roles that you can apply for within entertainment you'll be doing daytime activities with haven the daytime activities are normally from nine ish till 1 pm it depends what park you work at you'll have owners events so these are events specifically just for owners and they're normally different to what the guests do so there could be things like I've done fitness classes, there's a wine club. No, you don't get to taste the wine before anyone asks. <laughs> there's quizzes, owner's bingo, there's dog walks, dog shows, all sorts of events that you can help out with because the owner's events coordinator or experience team will need help running those. It's also a really good way to get to know the owners, then to get to know you. You'll also have walkabouts with the characters. Most holiday park chains have in-house mascots or characters so there'll be events with them taking them for walks to meet people to get pictures PRing, which is public relations talking to people PRing is literally going around the guests and owners asking if how they are if they're having a good time if they're enjoying their holiday and just having a general chit chat really so if you're a chatty person enjoy conversation then you'll have no problem with that if you struggle with talking to strangers or people that you don't really know, that might be something that you work on during your season. I know people that were really uncomfortable talking to people, but once they just did it, just got on with it, and the more and more they did it, the more confident they got with it. And then it just comes naturally to you. You'll also be doing party dances, everyone's favourite bit of being an entertainer. Best thing to do with party dances is just have fun with them. If you don't know them or if you forget a move, laugh about it carry on no one cares what you look like because people love it when entertainers make an idiot of themselves on stage it's just funny and everyone laughs and you laugh at yourself and if no one else is going to laugh at you you laugh at yourself because at least you know you're getting a laugh from someone there is also kids game shows adult game shows you've also got cash bingo which is bingo for over 18s where they play to win money that's normally from five o'clock and then the normal evening entertainment will usually start from about six ish and that will involve all your kids game shows, your adult game shows, your character appearances, your party dances. There might also be family bingo where the kids can play as well. We also do get, and you'll find this with most holiday parks, external live acts at Haven. We have them every single night. So this could be a band, it could be a solo singer, it could be a comedian, a magician. We get all sorts. We've had people from Britain's Got Talent come in. We've had a touring circus show, we've had a touring science show. Now some of the events are scripted, some aren't, like the game shows don't really have a script, they have the rounds that you have to do, but there isn't necessarily set things you have to say. So some elements are unscripted, the elements that are scripted tend to be the daytime activities. So I'm a presenter actor and all the parks will have either one or two presenter actors. That will most likely be in all the content and you will see them on stage all the time if you're not on stage then that is alien to you you should be used to being on the stage so everyone by the end of the season will know your name your face and they will probably get sick of seeing it <laughs> i got sick of the sound of hearing my own voice i'm not gonna lie that is a joke in that with me saying you get sick of the sound of your own voice but you speak that much and people hear you that much that at the end it just becomes like oh her again <laughs> get used to being treated like a celebrity basically everyone's gonna want your autograph people are gonna want pictures i was constantly being asked for pictures last year especially with all the wacky costumes that you wear be ready for that when it comes to rehearsing and practicing the content i would say you can never be too prepared rehearse as much as you can you do get rehearsal time on park you do get training how long it is depends on what role you are singers and dancers normally get one to two months because they have all the show solo presenters about two weeks and the animation host which is general entertainment will get normally a week that's how it was last year anyway i've got my training next month for my fourth season my word so it might be different but that's how it worked for us last year okay next subject a big one pay 
The pay does depend on your role and that includes how much you get paid and when you get paid. Entertainment managers, singers, dancers and presenters get paid monthly. Animation hosts get paid fortnightly. However many hours you do clocks up how much you get paid. There is also holiday entitlement. You can book holiday during the season whether you have it pre-booked or not. Any that is pre-booked make sure you let your entertainment managers know before your season starts. You can book it throughout the season as well but also this depends on availability and if anyone else wants it around the same time as you or if it can even be done. The last thing any entertainment manager wants to do is have just two people <laughs> working at one time when he or she or they might need four for example. Don't necessarily think that just because you book it that means you'll get it so just bear that in mind but you do get holiday pay. Any that you don't use during the season normally gets paid back to you at the end of the season. You do get one day off a week that is included in your contract you get one unpaid day off a week. Right on to the next topic accommodation. Accommodation you need somewhere to stay. <laughs> so with Haven it is a live-in contract you are required to live on park for the duration of the season. It might be in some cases that people live in the area of their park and they might not need accommodation but as of yet I've not heard of any instances of that. It is very similar to university accommodation or living in university accommodation. You will either be living in a caravan with one or two other team members or like I had last year you'd live in a pod which is pretty much like university halls. We all had our own bedroom you always get your own bedroom there is never any case where you don't you just might not get your own bathroom i was lucky last year in that we all did get our own bathroom so we had ensuite bedrooms but in other cases you might have to share a bathroom your accommodation will always be provided with some kind of basic catering facilities whether that is a kitchen i've always had a fridge a freezer oven microwave there's not always a dining table and chairs last year i didn't have one the year before I did in my caravan. Some accommodation does have a washing machine, others don't. You can normally use the on-park laundrette at a discounted rate but whether it's the on-park laundrette or a washing machine in your caravan you will be provided with some way to wash your clothes. Meals aren't included. You would do a food shop from a supermarket like you would if you were living at home or if you were living at university but you can eat in the on-site restaurants. One of the perks of working for Haven is that you do get a discount on the meals in the restaurants in all the food and beverage outlets. You also get discount from the on-site shop as well so do make use of that. And that is basically it when it comes to accommodation and living on site. And finally I'm going to go on to the pros and cons of the job. So I will of course start with the pros so I would say one of the definite pros is that you meet lots of people and can often make lifelong friends because you'll be living and working with these people for nine months. They basically become your family while you are doing this job. It undoubtedly gives you invaluable performing experience which you can take to other jobs and that may not even be a performing job you can take the confidence that you'll gain from it into other jobs so even if you're not looking to go into performing there's so many other skills that you can gain from doing holiday park entertainment. There's normally also a lot of perks to working with the company. You can get friends and family discount on holidays with that company. You can even get discount on holidays for yourself. There's reward schemes like team member of the month. They normally have team awards at the end of the year. That's normally at a big party. I've only been twice because in 2021 there was none because of good old Covid. Thanks Covid. But in both the years that I went to training there's normally a rap party at the end which is just a big party, everyone dresses up, there's dancing. So for the rap party at training make sure you bring a smart outfit that you can wear for that because everyone will dress up and look glam and lovely. It of course enables you to explore new places. So my first two seasons were in my hometown of Kent, third season was in Somerset which I'd never been to before and that was lovely. And this year I'm actually off to North Wales so you can explore lots of new places that you might not necessarily have been to before. And there is also lots of room for progression within the companies. Lots of people I know have worked their way up to entertainment manager, you could become a rehearsal director, you could help out at training for the new people and for the returning staff as well. So there are lots of perks to the job. But of course with the perks do come a few cons but I would say the pros heavily outweigh them. So one very big con, it might not necessarily be a con or a bad thing if you enjoy the job, 
you are away from home for a very long time nine months on the trot so if you feel you can cope with that then that's absolutely fine i personally think i have an advantage the fact that i've been to university and i worked abroad for two years so i kind of already experienced the living and working away from home thing the hours are long particularly in the evening if you do late night disco which the night always ends with only one person does that you may end up working till as late as two in the morning to then be in for 9am that same morning so it is hard work that's why i am emphasizing it about being fit and healthy look after yourselves if you do that then the long hours won't seem so long and if you enjoy the job it shouldn't seem long anyway Another con is that you won't please everyone. It's just like the theatre, you're going to have your critics. These days there's TripAdvisor, guests fill in surveys, but there will be people that won't enjoy the entertainment. Not necessarily because you're not doing a good job, but it's just not for everyone. I've discovered that in my past few years doing entertainment. Not everyone will enjoy what you do. Don't take it personally. Just rise above it and move on. Don't let the critics drag you down. I'm getting deep now, but it's so true. Do not let one person's bad comment ruin your day or let that one bad comment outweigh all the other good comments that you might have had try not to ignore the critics you will get them not everyone will enjoy what you do if you were to please everyone then that would be a blooming miracle <laughs> is all i'm gonna say another con is i say it's a con but you need to get on with your team i've been lucky in the past few years that i have overall and in general always got on with my fellow team members if you don't get on from the outset then you're going to have a very long season and you're also living with these people as well just try and get on with your team make friends be kind and you won't have that problem and there we go that is working in holiday park entertainment i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you find it useful if you know of anyone else that might find this video useful please do feel free to share it with them thank you very much for watching everyone do give this video a like if you enjoyed and want to see similar thank you very much bye